Okay, so just I mean, just so we're not just so we're not talking too specifically about about, about Paddington because we've got viewers from all over the country. But I mean, well, I want to use this as an example. I want to use this as an yeah, example no. of, of what's happening around the country. Now, you're a very good person to speak to because, because you were once on the traffic management committee of another council, weren't you? Is that correct? I, I was the chairman of the traffic committee at Mossman Council for five years. And as how would you people, rate this? Get four, four years of manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> how would you rate this so, proposal? Well, it, I just... And gobsmacked that it's got to this point. You know, you you, you, wish, <laughs> you look in Mossman, you can't scratch, scratch yourself without having to get it uh, approved and consult, have consultation. This, I just don't have these things falling through the cracks. I don't know. And we had a meeting the other day, and the local member couldn't come. I mean, crikey! So I used to think Alex Greenwich was a, a, an outstanding politician, but well, uh, two or three hundred people at a meeting, and he's too busy to come. You know, and I, I'm told Clover Moore is, is all for this. Well, you know, I can see people have told me that Clover wants a, a legacy and she wants to be able to point to something and say, oh, that bike, I got that bike thing, that bike lane in. Well, you know, this is madness on a rather large scale. Well, and I, I think you what, I, if it goes through, there'll be a lot of politicians who won't have jobs in a few years' time. Well, if only they'd mentioned it before the last election, they wouldn't have one now. But I think I know yes. why that how this has come about because this is clearly dictated by higher um, authorities in the state government. Now, here's a quote from the uh, state government's own page. And it says, in reference to this particular development, but it, they could be talking about any, any sort of urban development in Australia. It says, they, meaning the cyclists, have no choice but to ride alongside cars and share the bus lane with buses during the peak period. Cycling research shows that to create a mode shift change to cycling, we need to ensure people of all ages and abilities have a safe passage. A separated bike lane would provide a dedicated and safe bike route for a wide range of riders. Now, Peter, when they say we need to ensure all cyclists have safe passage, who do they mean by we? It's not the ratepayers. Yeah, well, you could be selfish and say, well, it's only, it's only servicing people outside the area anyhow. It's people coming from Bondi and from Clovelly and people beyond Darlinghurst and Paddington and Moore Park. So, it, it, look, I'm not against cycles and I'm not against cycleways, but there's the right place and the right time for the right solution. And this is the wrong solution in, in the wrong place. It's not a solution. There's Indeed. already a cycleway in Moore Park Road. And, well, and, and I'll just, I'll just clarify that. The, the Moore Park Road runs sort of parallel to Oxford Street, but it is a, uh, a route into the city from the eastern suburbs. So there is already a cycleway a few hundred metres away on, uh, from Oxford Street. Now, just going back to the, so just, that's just to clarify, but just, I just want to go back to the, the, you know, the way the state government is dictating terms here. That same page by the state government says cycling is a critical part of Sydney's future transport plan. That's a quote from them. Critical? Why is cycling so critical? What, who t who's, <laughs> whose call is this, Peter? I know. As I said, I'm for cycling in the right place in the right time. But, you know, this is the case where it's not. And, I mean, you talked about the 15-minute city earlier. I mean, what I would say that's pie in the sky, mythology and, and rhetoric. I mean, t tell the people from Gosford that there's a 15-minute city, the, the hundreds of people, thousands of people who, who commute every day. Most of us commute every day, you know, but so... It's a, it's a, it's a, I don't know, it's a figment of people's imagination. But there are a lot of people toiling away and who agree in a certain, as I said, I agree with cycleways, but mm. not in, in the right circumstances.